So what was a bigger award, getting named to an all-star game or winning a Pitching Ninja Award? Pitching Ninja Award. <laughs> Which one was your favorite? Um, the glove one. Um, it was Natty last year. Yep. That was pretty. How did you, how did you throw a pitch after your glove fell off? Here, I realized my glove, you know, fell off the ground. That's why, but I know I can't stop. If I stop, it's going to be bop, right? So that's why I just threw it. Yeah, that was amazing. Everybody was shocked that you were able to throw a pitch. And did you ever think what would have happened if he hit it? Um... I have no idea, but that was my best player in the year last year. My action in the uh, um, location was perfect. I should pitch that every time. <laughs> With no glove. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, one of my favorites was the triple kill that you had. Triple kill. I've never <laughs> seen that happen before. <laughs> um, and, and from what I remember, you said, you were just trying to throw the ball as hard as you could and ended up hitting three people with it. Yeah. That made me feel bad. You know? <laughs> uh, three people feel pain in the same time. I was just watching from the mound. That's, that's feel bad. Uh, that was sad, but it was actually amazing because I don't think that'll ever happen again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so one thing that I, I see you posting a lot on YouTube um, is workouts, the strength and conditioning type stuff. Were you always that into strength and conditioning or is that kind of a recent thing for you? Can I use an interpreter? Oh, absolutely. Yes. No, I actually, I actually enjoy, um, you know, the training aspect of the game. Um, I feel that uh, maybe a lot of the Japanese athletes or Japanese players are not so fond of, you know, really working hard in, as far as training goes. But, uh, you know, for me, uh, you know, that's something that I do enjoy doing. Is that a, is that something um, you picked up in, in, a, in the US or is that something you did over in Japan too? You know, I've been, it's been ongoing and uh, it's been evolving as well. So since I came here to the U.S., you know, I've had new sort of training regimens too. Has that helped your fastball velocity? I think so. That's for sure. Because when I was 20, 21, my average, average below was uh, 89, 90, but now I'm throwing 94, 95. So that, that helped me for sure. I, I saw some 98s last year too, right? Mm -hmm. How important is throwing hard to, uh, to your game? Yeah, it's important in a sense that you're showing that you have that to the hitter. Like you show it one time, two time, 97, 98 to a hitter, you know, that gets into the hitter's head. Um, and as you know, I'm more of, you know, I throw a lot of off-speed pitches. So, but again, I think it's important that I show that fastball and to let them know that I have that. Yeah, it, it, it actually, it, it'll make the hitter's reaction time, they'll have to make a decision quicker. Mm -hmm. So I noticed you also can throw left-handed. Is that something you were always able to do? Yep. Why? <laughs><笑><笑><笑> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yes, I, ha I am able to throw left-handed left as well. And it really, it's really helpful for throwing the off-speed pitches. Like when you're able to throw like certain off-speed pitches with your left hand, it, it becomes really easy to throw that with your right hand. 
How hard can you throw left-handed? Um, 70 to 75. Can throw hard. Have you ever thought about coming in at a, a game, late in a game? <laughs> I know you get asked that. What, what do you think is, so when you're thinking about pitching mechanics, what's the two things that jump out at you um, when either you look at somebody else and say they're throwing good or for you yourself, what do you, what do you think about um, pitching mechanics wise? So he, he finds it really important to have two different, in a way, two different type of pitch mechanics. One that you throw on the mound or in the game or like in a bullpen, and another one that you throw like when you're just playing catch. So there's two distinctively different mechanics that I use when I when I throw. What what is the difference between them? あ、違いはもうとにかくえ、ま、感覚的なところなのであれなんだけど、とにかくこの2つのフォームっていうのはもうなるべく遠いえ、メカニックとを2つ用意することが僕の中ではすごく大事だって。So mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh it, it's so like feel, so it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, I can tell you that the important thing about this is that the mechanics that you're throwing with, you know, flat ground or like just playing catch and the mechanics that you're using when you're on the mound should be very far apart. That's what I have in mind. It, so wh why would you do that? Why, why do you want them far apart? Is it, it, does it help in? Not this one, though. And that actually helps me sort of stabilize my mechanics. なんでかっていうと、まだそのノーがやっぱりずっと同じフォームでやってるとこの言ってみたいにあのま刺激に慣れてきてしまってみんなフォームを追い求めるけど固まらないのは多分僕は思うにその刺激が慣れてくるからノ
Kyle Hendricks got that from Greg Maddox back in the day too, or at least they have the same mindset. It's, it's the whole one pitch at a time, slow everything down type of, type of mindset. I realize the only thing that I can do is make as many good pitches as I can. That's the only thing I can try to do. And uh, that's the only thing I worry about. One other thing I found, and this is what Cubs, fan, I mean, I, I, I think as you showed more of yourself on social media, um, it seemed like you got more relaxed out there because you're funny. You were, <laughs> <laughs> you're, one, you're one of the funniest people on Twitter and everybody loves your Twitter account. And I think, does, it, does that help you on the mound too? うん、そのなんかね、2019年途中からリッツォとかあのトラベリングのBJっていう人とかが僕をこうあのチームの中に入れててくれたんですよ。したらなんかリッツォにおま結構面白いからもっとこう喋った方がいいよって言われて、そこ
Yeah, video helped too. Yeah. Um, so if you're you're facing, let's say uh, Ted Williams, how do you how do you pitch to to an all time great hitter? What do you try to do? Oh, um, uh, the Ted Williams was lefty, right? Yeah. Yes. Cutter. Four hundred. Oh, cutter. <laughs> I only had off cutter. That's it. First pitch cutter. <laughs> cutter slider or not for <laughs> What do you think your best pitch is? Cutter? Cutter. Mm. Yeah. Can you? Uh, okay. Uh, Okay, so let me leave um, a, a cutter that anyone can do, like right here, as a present. Can you hold your hand up like that? Uh, like, just like how you use doing, uh, like raise it up. Yeah, there you go. And then uh, try to... Try to bring down uh, uh, without the ball, without the ball, Rob. So hands up, a little bit up, yeah. And then try to uh, the ring finger and the pinky. Try to hold that down. Down like and that. Okay, you don't have to. And then try to do it again. Hold the hold the pinky and and the index. Yeah. yeah. So what's happening to your middle finger? Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. That's okay. It's it, it's naturally, yep, I got you. Yeah, so that's what I would tell someone, you know, not necessarily a baseball player, but, you know, someone uh, that doesn't even play baseball, I would teach them this so that they would be able to throw a cutter. That is, I've never... I've always taught about like getting on a little bit on the side of the ball, not not right down the middle. I've never thought about that. That's uh, so. What other tricks do you have? That's that's pretty cool. Big guys, but there are many. But the curve is not able to throw. The curve or spin is not able to throw. There are many reasons. And that's why I know that. So I was able to explain it in the Padres. I was able to explain it in the Padres. I was able to explain it in the Padres. I was able to explain it in the Padres. I was able to explain it in the Padres. Not going into too much detail, but you know, mm -hmm. like uh, if you take the curveball, you know, I see even even on my team, even on this team, you see some guys that aren't really efficient enough with that pitch. But um, you know, you tell them one thing and they're able to do that. So there's there's some little tricks in throwing that curveball as well. I've noticed that you like helping out your teammates. I've seen you talking with your teammates, even back on the Rangers where you're trying to teach a, a, a cutter. Is, is that something that's important to you? I love it. I mean, that's where I find my enjoyment. You know, uh, you kind of try to give a little tip. You, you give tips and you try to help your fellow pitchers out and when they you know use it in a game or whatever and they get it you know a strikeout or something like that and then when they come to you and let you know about that you know that's where i find that's where i get the most excitement and the enjoyment and the joy i've noticed that you're holding a baseball but you're also changing your grips on it mm -hmm. as we're talking is that some way that you do you do you develop pitches just from doing that ever sitting on your couch and saying, I wonder if this happened, or does it help you be comfortable with the ball? I do, I do touch the ball around a whole lot, you know, just have it around and, um, you know, you, you hold a certain grip and you, you say to yourself, okay, this might work. Um, but more than that, I find it when, when there's that aha moment, I feel like I find it in when I see a kid throwing a baseball or when, when I'm watching a totally different sport, those, it, those moments, you know, up to this point, at those times, I find, I feel like I found those aha moments. 
In, so it's kind of like what you were saying earlier with flat ground having a different mechanic th than on the mound. It's doing something totally different that allows you to come up with, with different things sometimes. Mm -hmm. One other last thing, when you're pitching, do you ever think, so you know how I do tunneling or I take, do overlays and watch the pitches move. Is that what it feels like? Is that what you're thinking ever? You're always thinking about tunneling. I mean, I've always done that. But like right now, you even go out from it a little bit. あの、ピッチトンネル外したやつを見せて、で、次ピッチトンネルなるべくの下同じような変化のカッターやったらカラッピしてくれたりとか結構。So when you're throwing a certain cutter, you you purposely go out and throw something that's out of the pitch tunnel and then you pitch a cutter that's sort of in the pitch tunnel per se and then sometimes you get swing and misses by doing that. So um yeah, that's what I do. It's almost like anything else. So the batter's focus is on that. So sometimes you can take the batter, the hitter's focus out of that tunnel um, and almost get a free strike or they'll give up on it. So in a sense, you're purposely throwing a, 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 a worse pitch, not a worse pitch, but a pitch is not as good as what you have. You're purposely doing that to give that, to put that in the hitter's head. It's almost like setting them up. Like you're, you're, you're saying that you're, you're throwing a pitch. They may think it's your best pitch, but it's not your best pitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, you can uh, sometimes it's even better when you use it against hitters that you see a lot. What's the best pitch you've ever thrown? Your favorite pitch? One pitch. Do you want like, like a punch out or yeah. what? in what context? Yeah, a, a big pitch that stood out to you like uh, you struck someone out on a great on a two seamer that came back or a uh, or a new pitch that you threw in a game that you that you were like, wow, that was really good. Uh, I'm trying to stump you. で、この先ってこの変なこのこっち側を見せる投げ方のやつを初めてあの時試したんですよ。で、それでカラブリを取ったんで、フォーシングにあの時に自信が持ったからあれはすごく僕の中で印象深い。So mm -hmm. one it's a four seamer that stands out and we spoke about, you know, how he threw it, you know, how he kind of found that mechanic that works best for him. So this was last year, uh, probably around second or third game uh, of the season. Uh, against Pittsburgh, uh, Josh Bell, uh, he threw that four seamer to him using that mechanic, and it worked. And he he swung over it, or swung under it, or whichever. But um, so that kind of gave me the confidence to go with that pitch. So that's uh, something that you know um, that um, kind of stands out for me. Well, I think there was one to Vado maybe too that stood out to you last year. There was a あの通信も最初頭にあったってあのこうすごい曲がったツーシームかなと思ったけどあれをまず作ったのはジョシュベルの三振だったから。So mm. that that kind of came from Josh Bell's four seamer. Gotcha.今あの最初に一番最初に思いついたってそのボットへの通信も一番最初に頭に出たけどっていうのも。And uh, so you know the the two seamer and the bottle. It's Vado, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's he kind of had that in mind as well. Gotcha. Do, do you want to be a pitching coach when you're done? Uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> 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 
、ピッチングコーチでは嫌なんだけど、うん、変化球アドバイザーとしてやっていきたいって本当に思ってるって今。<笑> um, I've, been, I've been kind of thinking about that. And、um, as of right now,、um, rather than becoming a pitching coach, I want to be like an off speed pitch teacher, kind of advisor in that role. So just be specializing in one thing, and that is off speed pitches, not. So just a... 僕は野球のことも全然わかんないし、基本的にそのフォなんかピッチャーのその変えるタイミングとかも絶対わかんないから、ただこれだけは誰にでも教えれるから僕はこれしかできない。You know, I I think I have the ability to teach someone how to throw off speed pitches. I can do that, but I can't really.、Um, I don't know what to do like in situation in baseball situation like. When to change pictures and stuff like that. It's more like <laughs> the really technical, off speed stuff that I can teach, that I'm confident in teaching. So I like to go that route. And you think everybody can learn that? You think is it, how much of it is natural feel versus actually being able to teach it? I think anybody can do it. Anybody. Like,、uh, it's, not, it's not about talent, it's not about natural ability, it's just that. People that can't do it, just they just don't know how, it's just that they don't know how to do it. And once you teach them a certain way of throwing, you know, a certain off speed pitch, anybody I think can, can do this. That's interesting.、Um, well, it, it's, been, it's been great. I'm looking forward to having a dog named Ro- you having a dog named Robbie.、Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, hopefully, it's a good dog. And,、uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but thank you so much for, for joining. And、uh, we'll keep up during the season. I'm going to make sure, I mean, you're going to have a great year.、Um, I am really looking forward to seeing the Padres this year. It's going to be a fun year in San Diego. Wonderful. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. And I like the. I'm、yeah. gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna send you, yeah, I will send you a, a Padres one soon. Yeah, please, please. <laughs> Thank you. Strike three!